What's up, YPR? This is Luke Hessler here, and I just want to come at you guys with another video blog here. Um, you know, we're done with the, we're done with school, done with finals, and it's time to grind, guys. You know, there's no excuses. You know, you don't have any school, you don't have any work, any anything to do right now. You know, so it's time to grind. Right now is the time. And uh, you know, I wanted to get on here and do a little quick video blog about something that you know, it's a realization that I came to that really changed my business. You know, right when I came to this realization, um, it was about three months into this whole journey, and that's when this thing took off for me. It just went, you know, and we haven't looked back sense. So and I want to share that with you guys. And that thing is this fear of being told no. You know, a lot of us have it. Um, you know, you see that guy, right? You know who it is. We all know who it is. You know, the people that would kill this, you know, the people that are, you know, they're, they're the people, they're, they're that guy to their friends. You know, every, everyone listens to them. Everyone does what they do. They say as they say, he sets the trends. You know, that's who we're looking for. And we all know those people. But, you know, a lot of us are scared to go up to them, you know, because we're scared that they're, you know, they're going to tell us no, right? And we shouldn't be. You know, now where I'm at right now in my mindset, if I see that guy, I see him and I'm like, he's that guy. You know, everyone listens to what he says. I know it right away. It's like, wow, dude, I can go help that guy make a lot of money. I'm going to go change his life right now by talking to him. Dude, that's how I look at it. When I first started, I would see that guy and be like, oh my gosh, you know, I know he could kill this, but you know, what if he doesn't like it? You know, what if he judges me based on it? What if he ridicules me from it? You know, he's, he has too much things going on. He's too busy. You know, obviously he's too many people to talk to, you know, all these little excuses that you make up in your head in order to get you not even to try, you know, but you got to remember that you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take in life. All right, so so never let the fear of saying no um, get in the way. So here's the difference. So why are we scared? To, why are we scared to go tell our friend or tell someone about this and, and be told no? Whereas if I go to a movie and I like the movie, I go tell my friend about it. All right, he doesn't like the movie. He's like, dude, actually, you know, I'm not I'm not a big fan of those horror movies. You know, I'm just like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, I don't I don't take it personally. Whereas if someone says no to me in Vima, I take it personally. It's like it's not like they're just saying no to the Vima business. It's almost like they're saying no to me. You know, and that's the big difference is you have to realize that they're not saying no to you. All right. They're saying no to the business model and really they're saying no to themselves. All right. Because everyone in this can be successful. You know, this business, Vima plays no favorites at all. You know, we have the same product, same compensation plan, same support, same resources, same everything. All right. So, you know, the only X factor in whether you're going to succeed is you. So that's all your goal is to give this person the opportunity. You know, Bob Proctor, there's a quote that I love, and he says, you know, faith and fear both require believing in something you cannot see. All right, the choice is yours. And and the key to that quote is the choice. You know, any situation you have in life, you know, you don't we're not we don't know the outcome for sure. We can't, you know, we cannot prove that. You know, only God knows that, you know. So we have to we can either be faithful of what's gonna happen or we can be fearful of what might happen. All right, so that choice is yours, guys. You know, here's something that I found. Um, this is this is what really hit me. You know, that that really came to the realization that changed my business. You know, is that in order to in order to drown, you need to uh, sorry, uh, feed your faith in order to starve your fears. All right, let me let me say that one more time. All right, feed your faith in order to starve your fears. And this is what that means. All right, because if and especially in regards to Vima. All right, when you go up to somebody about this, and the only difference between me now and me who I was back, you know, when I first started and was scared to talk to people is the fact that I believe in Vima and I know it worked because it worked for me and I know I'm nothing special. So if it worked for me with no resources and no help, then I know it can work for this guy with everything I can give him. You know, it's like I, my belief is just there. You know, my faith is huge because I, I went in and I did my research. You know, I figured out what it was that, you know, that, that what, the, what this whole thing was. So I really believe in this Vima mission and, and this thing that I'm sharing with people. So, so when you were sitting there and you're talk, looking at someone and, you know, you don't want to talk to them because, you know, you're scared for some reason, you're scared they're going to say no, ask yourself, you know, two questions. One, you know, is it, why am I scared to talk to that person? And is that a legitimate fear? Really? You know, why am I scared for him? Am I scared for what he's going to think of me? You know, I'm going to scared that, you know, he's going to think, say no, you know, I'm going to feel rejected. All right. You know, what are you really scared about? And, and is that legit? You know, it's like, cause it's something you don't know. That's a choice that you're making. You're choosing to be fearful of that. You know, you're choosing to focus on the fact that he might judge you. You're choosing the fact that he might reject you. You're choosing on the fact to focus on the fact that, you know, he might say no. You know, instead of focusing on that, how about you just put all your focus and put it on the fact that he might say yes, all right? And you'd be like, dude, if he says yes, dude, this could change the game. I could not only change his life forever, get this kid in a BMW, a new car, he'll help all of his friends make money. But guess what, dude, by helping him do that, I'm going to do that. Heck yeah, I'm going to go talk to this dude. I'm excited. And I'm going to do it. Easy change of perception. What was the difference between the scared me and, and the me that was excited to go talk to him? I was choosing to focus on faith rather than choosing to focus on fear. 
All right, you know, the other thing you have to think about is, you know, what consequences could, could, could stem from me talking to this person? You know, so what's the worst thing that could happen? You know, what is the worst thing that could happen for me going up and talking to this guy? Probably he says no. You know, that's the worst thing. He's like, you know, it's not for me. All right, cool. I'm going to go to the next guy then. All right, I'm going to go to the next guy. That's totally cool. All right, because you have to understand is that, you know, the worst thing can happen, they say no. And this is the law of averages. This is the, this is the key to success in this business is the law of averages. All right, I compare it to baseball. You know, I was actually, I was going to go play baseball in college before I hurt my shoulder. And, uh, you know, that's why I'm glad I got this whole Vima thing here. But, um, you know, in baseball, you, hit, you get a hit three out of ten times. All right, you're batting 300. You're going to the Hall of Fame. All right, and that's the same in Vima, man. If you can go talk to 10 people and you can get three or four of them to do this thing, man, you are killing it. You are going to the Hall of Fame. How are you going to go out and be successful? You know, you're going to go out and talk to 100 people. And then now, you know, if you get three of them out of every 10 that you get, now you have 30 kids in your team. Now you go help those 30 kids go out and I'll talk to 100 people. And, you know, that's going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's how you see the exponential growth. But here's the thing is that the law of averages also increases as you get better. You know, when I first started this, I got like one out of 10 that, that people would actually do this thing when I started. Now I go and talk to people, I can get like nine out of 10, you know, because it, it talks, you know, the, the, the only the, the, uh, um, credibility talks. All right. So it gets easier. And as you make more and more money, you're going to figure out what works and what doesn't work. And you're going to keep doing what works. And you're going to stop doing what doesn't work. All right. You know, and, and I have a great, a great example of this whole being scared to say no, you know, is, is you have to understand the, you know, one simple decision in your life like that can change your entire reality forever. Evan Schultz, the guy who enrolled me, when he first came up to me, I said, absolutely not to this. All right. And I made fun of him for it. You know, I said, this wasn't going to work. My mom's done this. My dad's done that, dude, you're crazy. Trust me. And I made, I made fun of him. Like I said, all right, four months later, think of this, he was scrolling through his phone and he saw me, he saw my name. He could have, he could have, thought what most of us think and it's like oh I don't want to tell Luke about this again dude he's just gonna make fun of me he's gonna say no like oh this sucks I don't want to tell him about it but he didn't have that all right instead he saw the hope he decided to focus on the faith rather than the fear and he's like dude I know Luke could kill this dude he's social he's in a fraternity he's business minded he's a smart kid you know I know if he sees this for what it is he's gonna kill it I gotta tell him about it I gotta at least get him to look at it you know he did he got me to look at it and look at where we are now, man. I make like six, seven grand a month right now. And, and this is just the beginning, you know, and, and what else would I be doing? If he wouldn't have came back to me, I'd still be in college doing nothing with my life. You know, just trying to survive through classes. I would have just got out of exams. You know, I probably would have crammed for the last week, you know, stayed up all night, didn't sleep at all just in order to get three fives in all my exams. And then I forget all the information the next day. You know, that's what I would still be doing in my life. But instead, you know, I'm focused here building a business, you know, building a fortune, not just an income, but a fortune, you know, this is something that's going to pay me for the rest of my life. And it's going to pay you guys for the rest of your life too. All right. So here's the thing, guys, is that, you know, you got to, you got to remember this is that, you know, we are all in this together too. All right. And we've all started where you're at. You know, I've been there. Alex Morton was there. Brad Alcazin was there. You know, everyone that's anywhere in life started at the bottom and worked their way up, you know, and I think too many times is that, you know, the leaders, they don't like to talk about, you know, their weaknesses. They don't like to talk about their struggle because, you know, they want to focus on that success that they have and all about the excitement, you know, but sometimes you got to work with the negatives in order to get that real positive out there, guys. So, you know, don't be scared of people saying no to you. You know, don't be scared of what your friends are going to think, you know, because guess what? You know, that's that person that, that's, that's making fun of you. Was he doing any good for you before? Was he helping you succeed in your life at any way before this? Probably not. You know, so who cares what he thinks? He's not helping you get to where you want to be in life. So don't let him get you down, guys. But you know, with that, you know, I just want you guys to remember that we only live once in this world. All right. But when you live like us, once is enough. Later, YPR.